Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said, the United States government does not have any data on Russian losses in eastern Ukraine, and that estimates claiming 20,000 soldiers had been killed in the past five months, had been plucked from thin air. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said, at least two people were killed in Pavlorad, a Ukrainian city and railway hub in the east, in an overnight Russian missile attack. General Alexander Sersky, commander of Ukraine's ground forces, said Ukraine would continue defending the eastern city of Bakhmut as the army prepares for an expected counteroffensive. Talks on the Black Sea Grain Agreement, with every party involved in the deal, are set to take place on Wednesday, according to Reuters. Members of Ukraine's parliament, the Verkhovna Rada have voted to extend martial law in the country, according to a statement on Telegram by parliament member Yaroslav Zelezniak. Zelensky said, he discussed Ukraine's integration into the European Union and NATO, with the Speaker of Portugal's Parliament, Augusto Santos Silva. Denmark's Security and Intelligence Service said, it expects Russia to recruit civilians, as agents and use journalists to spy on the country. As Moscow's need for intelligence gathering in NATO countries intensifies. The European Commission said, it has set restrictions until June 5 on imports of Ukrainian wheat, maize, rapeseed and sunflower seed to ease the excess supply of these grains in Bulgaria, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Slovakia. The company behind, the dating app Tinder is leaving Russia more than a year after, Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine led a wave of international companies to close or suspend their Russian operations. The US plans to announce as soon as Wednesday a new $300 million military aid package for Ukraine, which will for the first time, include a short-range air-launched rocket. Two U.S. officials have told the Reuters news agency. Denmark's defense minister Trolls Lund Polson said, his country will donate more funds to support Ukraine's military needs. Russia's defense minister Sergei Shoigu said, Moscow had taken steps to increase the production of weapons and military equipment to support its troops in Ukraine, according to state media.